Hello Divine Feminine, welcome to your power message for Thursday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels and I'm so excited to bring you this reading today. So I'm going to start today with the Ascension cards by Diana Cooper. This is such a beautiful deck. We're going to use this to tap in with how you are ascending right now, anything you need to know from the higher realms. I'm also going to bring in the Divine Feminine Energy Oracle by the Witchy Woo Tarot and we're going to bring in the gorgeous Divine Lover Oracle cards by Bloom and Arrow. But I'm going to start with a message from the Psychic Tarot of the Heart. Now, there has been some heavy energy around lately, so you may find that you've been wanting to cleanse yourself. You know, maybe open the doors to bring in some powerful cleansing energy to, you know, let the energy of the air flow through the home and it cleanses things away. And the air dragons are also helping with that. They are assisting to create a freshness around you to create this fresh new beginning between you and your twin, but within your own life, you know, so you can work on things that light you up, you can focus on service and working your mission and shining your light bright, because ultimately, shining your light bright is what attracts everything in, and I spoke about that very powerfully yesterday, not just in the feminine reading, but in the masculine reading too, so what do you need to know today, so I'm just shuffling the cards, and you know, I am actually really enjoying doing the readings this way right now. You know, we're all going through ascension in some way, shape or form. So we can't be on form all of the time. So it's just a more consistent way of me doing the readings right now. So the two cards we've got coming out first of all, we've got heart chakra, which is really powerful because the heart chakra is also connected with ascension because we go through matters of the heart. You know, you feel things in the heart, the emotions come from the heart, and the love is the connection of the heart. We've also got the number four there. So 444 is very much about angel protection, being guided by angels, being protected by heaven. And these are things we know in our heart. So in your heart, you'll always find the answers. When you go within, you close your eyes and you connect with the heart, you'll feel the love. It's only the ego that tries to edge all the goodness out. You know, the ego is a bit like the devil that can sit on your shoulder, whisper in fear and temptations and struggles, whereas the heart is connected with the higher self. And the heart knows what the heart wants. And you know what you want. The heart wants what the heart wants. So forgive yourself for, you know, wanting your twin if they are with another person or if things feel stuck because you know you belong together. You feel it in the heart and they give me fear. So release any fear around the belonging because you were truly meant to be. And the heart shows you this in many ways. So you may find that you're going through a heart chakra activation today. You may find that your heart is pumping fast. Maybe you're having skipped heartbeats or palpitations. And these can be connected with things you go through with ascension. You know, there may be an underlying cause for that. Maybe you're going through perimenopause like I am, change of life, or maybe, you know, you've been running and your heart's beating faster or whatever's going on, but it's ultimately connected with ascension. And it's also reminding you, look at this, to believe and succeed. So when you believe, you achieve. When you believe, you succeed. And this is like where you are right now. You know, you're facing the future. You're facing forward, you're not looking back. You know that the future is holding great miracles for you. And you're starting to believe in all things which are bringing in success. The more we believe, the more we achieve. And, you know, things have got to be said right now. They give me a feeling in the mouth like something needs to be coughed up or said. And they give me that very powerfully <coughs> connected with the throat chakra. So this is also when the masculines want to reach out to you. And you know it's true. So believe in that and you'll receive what you desire. So imagine you're in this boat right now and this boat is taking you where you're meant to be. And that's what happens when we let go. A lot of the time we are rowing against the tide. You know, we're in a canoe, we've got the reins or we've got the oars and we're trying to row the wrong way. We're going against the current, against the tide and the tide wants to take us to a new beginning. The tide wants to take us in the easiest path to our dreams and our success. So all we have to do sometimes is put down the oars of the canoe or put down the reins and allow things to move forward naturally. 
And what I'm really seeing in that card is, you know, the lighthouse in the distance there. That light that's shining out. So I'm seeing there as the divine feminine being the lighthouse, guiding the, ma the divine masculine home. But the light is also the light of heaven, guiding you home, guiding you where you're meant to be. And this is all the things flowing in now. And I feel big shifts coming in for you between now and June. Realizing what you do want, what you don't want, and moving towards success. So let's see what we need to know. Let's bring in the feminine energy oracle that. Wow, jumping out the deck. So I've got a few cards jumping out, and then I've got separate cards there as well. You know, sometimes they jump out separately. And I've got one card coming out from the Divine Lover and one moving on top. So we're going to start with this. Look at this. I love you. There's something I need to tell you, Divine Feminine. That's what your masculine is saying to you. I really want to reach out to you and express how I'm feeling. The love in my heart for you is like nothing I've ever felt before. Remember, I love you. And when we remember, everything makes sense. When we remember our heart sings, our heart skips that beat and jumps around because we know it's true. And this is something you remember. It's something deep within you, that feeling. Your masculine has always loved you. But when they see you and find you again and get to know you again, they remember that they love you. I really want to express that to you. The love in my heart. So the feeling is in their heart today. And stargazing, my love for you is written in the stars. You belong together. Look up at the stars tonight and know that I'm under the same sky thinking about you. We were destined since time immoral, immemorial. Oh, this is very much saying to you, you know, it's been written in the stars since the beginning. We don't need to rush this love. It's eternal. And that's what the angels are reminding you of. Your love is eternal. It doesn't need to be forced or rushed because it's unconditional. And you can't put conditions on unconditional love. So your masculine is saying to you, I've been dreaming about you and thinking about you since the moment I was born. And I'm also feeling a huge shift around 2017, which you know anyway. And, you know, big things occurring between 2017 and 2031. I feel this is the time of the beginning of the new age or the dawn of the new beginning, the golden age, whatever you like to call it. This is when things are flowing in and people have been asking me when the golden age is coming and we're on the precipice of this now. But I am really feeling, you know, what happens over the next few years is pivotal to bringing this in. And you might think, well, what is the golden age? You know, is this going to be a time where everything's magical and wonderful? There's always going to be light and dark in our world. That's why we've come here. But there's more light in our world because there's more people working the light in this world. And what the angels are showing is between 2017 and 2031, this is where things are changing. So people are more involved in the light than the dark and more aware and unplugged from the matrix than ever before. And that's part of your mission and your twins mission and your mission together. So go outdoors tonight and look at the stars. And remember, they are under the same sky as you, thinking about you the way that you're thinking about them. So shine bright because you are divine. So you are the divine feminine. You are the divine. It shines in you. So this is really a part two of yesterday's divine feminine reading because it's reminding you to shine to shine bright, that you are no longer allowing the past to have control over you or your emotions. You're standing strong, using that affirmation. I no longer allow the past to have control over me. I have control over my emotions because I am me. And this card's moving on top of the deck. We've got union there. I'm ready to start our life together in union. We've been waiting and preparing for this day to come. And now the time is near. Let's get ready for this final chapter so we can come into alignment and meet as one. I'm ready to start again. So this is the energy you're in here. You're letting the past go. So it no longer has control over you. So you can prepare to start your life together in union. You've both been waiting for this and preparing for this, for this time to come. And the time is near. So live in the moment, Divine Feminine. 
I am living in the moment. I am here and now. I am safe and loved and protected. So when you live in the moment, all is well. And you are love. I am love. So these are great affirmations to use. I am love. I am loved. I am strong. I am powerful. Separation is an illusion. Separation is stillness. It's where the magic is taking place. And during the separation, you're on a journey of self-discovery. You're finding yourself again. You're realizing who you are and you are harnessing your feminine energy. I've got angel bumps because yesterday the masculine got, I'm harnessing my masculine energy. And today you're saying, well, I am harnessing my feminine energy. So we're going to pull an ascension card, but how do you harness your divine feminine energy? How do you harness that power? What do you do to bring that in? You realize that you are on a journey, a journey of self-discovery, a journey of learning, a journey where you're able to manifest this connection through your writing and other creative outlets. And this card moved on top for a reason. A lot of the cards are moving as I'm kind of sitting here. The cards tend to be moving around here because we've got karmic battles. So you're also realizing that the things that no longer serve you are being washed away. Your mask is saying, please be patient with my process of growth and change as I come into my power. I'm making sure that everything is in alignment so I can be with you. And sometimes we just have to look a little bit closer at the energies and the things right in front of our face. Please be patient with me. And I feel this is for anyone who's thinking, well, how can I harness my feminine power? How can I continue to shine bright? How can I trust that separation is illusion when he's with someone else? And this is understanding that they are releasing just like you are what no longer serves them. So they are releasing the person. You're releasing the doubt. They are releasing the situation. You're releasing the struggle around the situation. They're releasing the person. You're releasing the person you used to be. So you can become your best version in the here and now for each other and for yourself. Please be patient with my process. You're realizing and the way you harness your divine feminine power is by understanding separation as an illusion because you are love. <clears throat> They're giving me a block. <clears throat> so when you're in separation, focus on the love. I am love. And you focus on love by living in the moment, by trusting that your union is meant to be. And that when you let go of the past and you don't let that control you anymore, you create the way forward for your future. And you shine because you are divine. So let's bring in an ascension card today. What do you need to know? Thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around the divine feminine? It jumped out at you at the camera there. We've got Archangel Metatron. So Archangel Metatron is the angel of divine timing. And I really do feel I'm going to do a refresher kind of video series on the Archangel so you can connect with them more and more. So Metatron is saying, you are blessed to receive this card today because the mighty universal angel Metatron who is coordinating the ascension of this planet is touching in with you. Now I feel he's coming through for a reason because... He's letting you know here what's happening between 2017, which is gone, and 2031. Now, I feel you're receiving a preview here as a light worker about the golden age because so many people are talking about this right now and wondering about this right now. So this is why you've come. This is why you're here right now on the earth plane in this moment at this particular time because you have a mission to help with the coming new age and I use the word new age I know there's many many ways of looking at the words and many negative energies around those words but it's a new time that's what it really means Archangel Metatron is saying to you that you're part of the new time you're part of the worldly ascension worldly alignment and you are blessed to receive this card because it's showing this to you you're in tune with the mighty universal power of heaven and archangel metatron is helping to coordinate the ascension of the planet because he's connected with the timing of things <clears throat> they're giving me fear so you're releasing the fears around the timing 
He is illuminating your aura with his golden orange light as he works with your stellar gateway chakra. And I'm also connecting there with Archangel Uriel because, you know, Uriel is the illuminator. So Uriel is illuminating your mind to the love, understanding that they love you, and understanding that your love is written in the stars. So your message today is to relax and allow Metatron's wings to enfold you. Ask to visit him as it is Ascension Retreat in Luxor during meditation or sleep so you can receive his guidance. This may come as a thought, a whisper or a feeling. So, you know, you may not necessarily, forgive me fear, connect with the energy of Luxor or the energy of going to an Ascension Retreat with Archangel Metatron in meditation, but he's with you right now. And he's saying, I'm helping you to receive guidance about your future through the readings you watch, the things you see, the songs you hear, the way you feel, the synchronicities that you are shown daily. And these things come to you as a thought, a whisper or a feeling through the power of Archangel Uriel, who illuminates your mind. And when you ask sincerely for help on your ascension journey, Metatron will open new doors for you and guide you. So Metatron is around you right now, not only as the angel of divine timing, but helping you with your mission and your ascension path to grow and become a healer, to work your light the right way, to assist others to move into a new age, to find themselves again, to break free from stereotypes and conditioning and programming and become the person they've been born here to be or bought here to be to believe and succeed, to find yourself, to open the heart to everything that you truly want. So I'm going to bring in the guidebook today or the divine guidance book. What do we need to know? So yesterday we worked on healing old relationships and today we're working on being kind to ourselves. The message is give yourself a gift, give yourself a present. He says, I give myself a gift today, delighting in this form of self-care I deserve to receive a special treat and reward myself with love. So let today be your birthday. So a big happy birthday to anyone celebrating it today. But if it isn't your birthday, perhaps it isn't your birthday till the end of the year. Or you've just had your birthday. And you're thinking, well, I've got a whole year to wait. Be good to yourself today. You don't have to wait till a birthday or a special occasion to be good to yourself. Give yourself a gift today. And this doesn't necessarily mean either you've got to go out and buy yourself something or, you know, go on your Amazon wish list and treat yourself to something. It means giving yourself a gift, which could be a nice meal. It could be time to relax. It could be a walk in nature. It could be the gift of listening, listening to something you've wanted to listen to or doing something you've wanted to do for a while. Why wait for special occasions to give yourself a treat? After all, you need rewards most you in the ordinary times in your life. The present you bestow on yourself today doesn't have to be expensive or elaborate. It could be free of charge. It just needs to make your heart sing with delight. Sometimes when we put music on and we have a dance and we let go, that's also a gift because the present moment is a gift we give to ourselves. Forgiveness is a gift that we give to ourselves. When we forgive, we feel free. So approach today with an open mind and allow yourself to be guided to just the right treat for yourself. This could be an activity such as going to the movies or reading a good book, or it could involve receiving a service such as a massage or a foot rub. You might even prefer a simple soak in the bath or taking an afternoon nap. You certainly aren't limited to just one present per day. Reward yourself with gifts as often as you feel guided and experience the benefits of an increased enthusiasm and joy. So be good to yourself today. Be kind and loving and gentle to yourself. Give yourself today something that you might need. Give your heart some love. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle. Maybe going out and gazing at the stars is just what you need. Because you're going to feel the power of the love. You know, the sun and the moon, they operate in the same sky. You may not see them both at the same time, but they're both there. And it's the same with you and your twin. You may not see them all the time, but they are still there. 
feeling you, loving you, connecting with you, connecting with you through music, connecting with you through thoughts, feelings, signs and synchronicities. But Metatron is really giving you a message today about your mission. And I feel that's what this is today, Divine Feminine. It's more about the mission between 2017 and 2031. So think about what you went through on your own personal journey in 2017. This was a huge time of awakening for a lot of people. I know I went through a huge shift and change in my life during that time. And you were on the road to greatness, the magic. So don't read this the wrong way and say that, this is about you coming into union in 2031. It's not to do with that. This is to do with your mission, your purpose, and the main reason you've decided to come to earth and why your twin has decided to come to earth because you have a joint mission together. But things taking place between 2017 and 2031, even the crazy things like the pandemic and war and all the other things going on around us, are helping to wake people up to love, to focus on love and peace and beauty instead of focusing on fear and pain and hurt and causing conflict and pain to others. Things that open the heart to love because that's why we've come. Love is the answer to all of our questions. Love is the reason we're here. We are love. And that's what you're being reminded today. So any karmic battles, anything that's going on are being resolved through the power of the heart. Because love is always the answer. And love always overcomes fear. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.